It's day four for Mahmoud as he desperately searches for information about his younger brother. His search efforts have been focused now to the asylum center in Malakasa where most of the rescued have been transferred. It took him about two and a half hours to travel here from the city of Kalamata, but when he arrived, there was no news of his loved one. I'm sure he's died too. He told me he's uh, spraying in the water and he's swimming, you know, he's swimming. But he stay uh, three and a half hours. Not all can swim this, uh, all this time. This is a long time for any people to swim a long time like this. That is the problem. With no new information coming out of the Hellenic Coast Guard or the Kalamata city authorities, the relatives of the missing have rushed to this center to find any information that could link them to their loved ones. But sadly, most leave empty-handed. As the search and rescue operation wound up Sunday, the city of Kalamata held a memorial service for the victims of the shipwreck, both known and unknown. The climate there was tense and emotional as relatives of the dead and missing attended. What happened is a shame for humanity and our civilization, and the reason is not so much because of traffickers. For them, it's business as usual. Instead, it's those who destroyed the southern Mediterranean with war and conflict. Six days since the boat capsized, and the number of missing or presumed dead is still unknown. Greek authorities put the figure at 250, while eyewitnesses claim around 500 people remain unaccounted for, a significant difference. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN from the Asylum Center in Malacasa.